Antiquated Kid Grave uncovers the most established quills at any point tracked down in Finland. A long time back, misfortune struck a Stone Age people group living in what is presently Mejunsuo in Finland, the demise of a cherished youngster. An investigation of their grave uncovers the ceremony and greatness of that kid's entombment, the last resting place that included quills, fur, and interesting plant strands. These examples are the principal fur and quills tracked down in a Mesolithic Finnish entombment, giving us new data about funerary customs in the locale, millennia prior. The exploration additionally shows us how parts of natural materials can be saved in grave soil for us to find centuries after the fact, in the event that we know how to search for them. The strategy utilized shows the way that hints of fur and plumes can be tracked down even in graves a few millennia old, remembering for Finland, says excavator Christiana Manerma of the College of Helsinki in Finland. Understanding the way of life of ages past is a piece like assembling a riddle when a large portion of the pieces are absent. We just have the ancient rarities that endure the attacks of time, generally, that does exclude a lot of the methods of natural matter. This is particularly obvious in places like Finland, where high sharpness in the dirt debases such material much more completely. However, the new examination, driven by College of Helsinki excavator Tuija Kirkain, demonstrates the way that recognizable hints of sensitive natural grave merchandise can stay in the dirt for millennia. The grave was tracked down under an unlocked street in Timberland, first distinguished by a striking slice of red ochre against the pale rock of the street. This was the indication of an old entombment, the iron-rich soil utilized customarily and creatively in places all around the ancient world. An archaeological group was surged in to uncover the site before it very well may be harmed. Not much was tracked down in that frame of mind of articles. The bones had since a long time ago rotted, abandoning only a couple of teeth from a kid something like 10 years old, and no more youthful than three. Two quartz pointed stones and two different items assisted the group with dating the grave to around 6000 BCE. In any case, the dirt in the grave was totally the first soil that had entombed the kid, opening up one more road for study, soil examination. The group utilized water to isolate the dirt from any natural material in that. Then, at that point, they utilized various microscopy strategies to study and recognize what they found. The outcomes are interesting. The strands uncovered were bast filaments, produced using the inward bark of specific plants, like stinging bramble or willow. These are saved ineffectively in Finnish soil, just a single other Finnish bast fiber revelation has been made dating to the Stone Age, the Antrionet. With just minuscule pieces remaining, it's difficult to determine what the best filaments in the Majunsuo grave were, however, they might have been important for a net, line, or line or some likeness thereof. Creature material was additionally found. 24 minuscule pieces of bird feathers. These, the scientists say, are the most established feathers at any point tracked down in Finland. Seven of the parts were from the down of waterfowl, a request that incorporates ducks, geese, and swans. This might have been from a piece of clothing, for example, a parka that would have been overflowing with down for warmth, or maybe from grave sheet material on which the youngster was let go. One more quill section was recognized as having a place with a bird of prey. Maybe it had shaped a piece of the fletching on the bolts put in the grave, from which just the quartz pointed stones remained, or maybe hawk feathers were utilized to embellish the youngster's clothing. At long last, the grave yielded 24 parts of mammalian hair, the vast majority of which were too debased to even think about recognizing. Be that as it may, three of the hairs from the foot end of the grave, the group found, were from a canine, either a canine or a wolf of some kind or another. These could, the specialists express, be from a canine that was covered with the youngster, maybe as an ally for eternity. Canines covered with the departed have been viewed as in, for instance, Skate Home, a well-known entombment site in southern Sweden going back nearly 7,000 years. Notwithstanding, the shortfall of creature teeth recommends that almost certainly, the fur-framed piece of the youngster's entombment attire, rich boots of wolfskin, maybe. Albeit the subtleties are tantalizingly inadequate, the review uncovers fundamentally more about the internment than we would have known in any case, and from only a couple of minuscule hints of material. It would accordingly, the specialists say, be possibly advantageous to apply such soil examination to all entombment unearthings, even, or particularly, those with unfortunate conservation of natural materials. This all gives us a truly significant knowledge about entombment propensities in the Stone Age, Kirkinen says, showing how individuals had arranged the kid for the excursion in the afterlife.